America has a big decision to make about who we're going to be, what we're going to stand for. The system is broken. The question is no longer about what our government should do, but what we should do about our government, about our divided union, about our uncertain future. We are founded on a miracle, a heroic past built on courage, on inventors, visionaries, and heroes, a God-given belief in the nobility of the human spirit and the fact that liberty is the only way for that spirit to thrive. Washington has grown too big, too powerful, too expensive, and too intrusive. This is exactly what the Founding Fathers feared. They knew all governments have the tendency to grow endlessly and ultimately to take power from the people and give it to themselves, the politicians. It is time to stand up, protect our freedom, and take back this government. I was a Republican governor in a very deep blue state, the state of New York, and I was governor for three terms. And it's because, at the end, people realized my vision was not a partisan division, it was a vision about people, about what we could accomplish together. When I got elected mayor, the last thing in the world I thought about is someday I could be governor of New York State. I was this unknown person from Peekskill, not exactly Manhattan or New York City. If you care about people, you don't have to be governor, you don't have to be president, you don't have to be a U.S. senator to try to impact their lives. We can pass all the laws in the world, have all the rules and regulations, but I, unless we have men and women like you prepared to risk your lives to defend this country, they don't mean anything. God bless you all, and lunch is on me. We have always understood that we have a common background and a common destiny. And when we stand together, we can accomplish anything. I saw that on the streets of New York in the days and weeks after September 11th. We understood we were all Americans who had been attacked and were going to rise up together, and we did. We need to recapture that spirit, that sense that we are one people. When we do, we will stop empowering politicians and empower ourselves with the opportunities to have an unlimited bright future. We the people, not Washington, are equipped to lead this nation. We the people can make a difference. We the people are what make this nation great. When we stand together, Americans can accomplish anything. We are all in this together. And let us all understand that what unites us is so much more important than what might seem superficially to divide us. If we are to flourish as a people, we have to fall in love with America again. I've been up on that tower, and that's exactly what we hoped, you know, that we would not just rebuild what was here, but build higher and taller and soar to new heights and uh, show people we weren't going to think small or live afraid. And it really does what we wanted it to do, which is to reclaim the skyline and uh, stand out as uh, a symbol of uh, coming back not just as strong, but stronger and better.